Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers, thank you for joining us. Um, I'm going to get on this Yamaha Enduro 40 that has a busted tiller handle. And then I've also got a little 15 horsepower tiller shift handled Mariner that uh, I need to go through. But uh, I was thinking, you know, it would probably behoove me to do a fax check on this Enduro 40 before I start messing with all that tiller stuff. Because, you know, I need to at least make sure the power hits good on it and so forth. And, and uh, there ain't no surprise issues other than that tiller bracket and handle and so forth. So that's what I'm probably going to start with. But I first got to do some other things. And you say, what other things? And I say, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you what I got to do. Let's go. I'll show you. Oh my, I told you I got to get them engines inside before the blow. The blow came. So I got to light off my little mini boom and get myself plowed out. It's winter time. It's winter time. Should have went for that boat ride. Look at my Suzuki now. So we had a good blow last night, 40 knots, a lot of snow. A lot of snow. Look at Kickerville over there. Yep. Lots of snow. Abounds. Looks pretty in pictures, don't it? Oh no, Fred! Fred! Oh! Fred, the weather frog telling me it snowed. See, that's what he looked like when he predicts snow. Hey, at least we can't see his stupid grin. Fred, the weather frog said it snowed. Fred, the one-eyed miserable porch weather frog. Oh boy, look at my plum tree over there. Look at on my plum tree. Oh. Yep, so, and we got more coming on the way, they say, so. I'll get started plowing, that's what I gotta do. plugs out of that thing. Oh. Ba -ba -da -da. Get some sparky plugs. These are NGK B7HS10. Pretty blacky looking. Both of them pretty, 
pretty blacky looking. Oh, don't know. Let's see. So let's get me a Sparky Spider. Put on it. See what we get. What we get. What we get. Oh, let me look at the tips. Oh, they're normal. There's one. There's two. And we'll clip her right there, I think. Okay, so. Right in here, you should. If it's gone on me. I don't even know if this thing. Ooh, man. She got that interlock going or something because of this throttle, probably. Yeah, it's all froze up. So. Okay, so we're going to have to take this off and see if it's just seized or what. Yeah, that's nice. Could be something different going on. Something going on. Okay, so what, I think I need a 12. Let me get a 12. Get them broke, dude. Oh man. Yeah, been... She's a salty one. I can tell that. I can tell that. safety interlock there. Yeah. Well that's a big old top nut on that thing. The big one. I have to go to my large sizes probably. Yeah, definitely. Salt? I don't know what it is. Looks like a rock. Weed. It's weed. Just a weed. Weed, weed. Oh. Okay. Maybe now we can get back to our spark check. Make 
sure you're in there. You should be able to see it if it's gonna spark. Good hot sparking. All right, so we got the spark. We got the spark. Yeah, let's do a compressor. You want us? You want us? Stun us? Let's do the compressor. You us? See what number? No. Oh, yeah. Do the bottom first. I'm gonna do the bottom first. Okay. We are all zeroed out. Let's spin it up. Sure felt like it had some compressi on us. 120 dead even it looks like. 120 bottom. And one. See what we're gonna get on the top one. We are zero. See what we're getting. On the top. What we get? What we get? What we get? We get 120 dead. So we got 120 top, 120 bottom. We got spark both cylinders. Oh. But now, I notice it ain't shifting, so we got one, two, zero, and one, two, zero. Compression. So. Was, was the gear shifting problem? No. Oh yeah, she froze up good and tight. It's in neutral though. But uh, so we are going to have to find out what's going on there. Now I do see some kind of shift lock thing. To be not engaged over here. What's that all about? Let's see if I can pound this thing back. It ain't budging. This thing right in here, right in behind it, is a Phillips screw I'm trying to get to. And it won't let me in there. Oh boy. Slippery. Well, I think I'm going to spray a little lubricant on there for a little bit. And let that sit for a minute or two. A few minutes anyway. Buck. What I'm dealing with on this Enduro is kind of what I thought it would be. Um, 
only because of the last one of these the European one I brought in here if you go back and look at that video um, it didn't have the busted tiller and all that but it wouldn't shift and uh, on that one I dropped the lower unit was able to check the shift rod on just the lower unit and sure enough it was something stuck up here well I popped off this lower unit and it shifts just fine by the shift rod again the problem is in the linkage so I'm gonna have to unbolt some stuff in here figure out how to get this piece of plastic out of my way and uh, go from there so let me at least try and get that off um, I'm not gonna be able to film that because it's all too tight in here but I gotta figure out how to get that off and then get this freed up somehow so let me get that plastic piece off and I'll be back okay this gear shift won't move at all the lower unit is off if you look right in here where my screwdriver tip is I have play I've taken this bolt out so I have play there in that whole mechanism I got that Phillips screw out that was holding the um, it went down in there like that and there's you can see the screw hole right there this went down in there and that holds all that linkage that goes to the interlock on the recoil I got that off I got that Phillips screw out the way I got this Phillips screw out here's the Phillips screw and the way I got it out I drilled that hole then I could come straight in to to the Phillips screw hole you can see I'm turning there out it came so I got that so now I've got all this linkage and stuff if you also look at least I'm hoping I can get you in there let me try this um, if you look in here this piece will move back and forth on the stud on that shift rod on the square stock there you can see that so I've got play that way and play this way so where it's bound is in the shift handle over here sorry about that and that and that but that's where it's bound right down in there you can see there's an oil zerk there I drilled that out as best I could and I shot some fluid in there I don't think I can heat anything in here because I do believe the shift handles plastic line it's plastic so I'm gonna have to probably drill a couple pilot holes get some more lube in there and then just get a hammer over here on this flat square stock in and try and drive it toward the handle so let me get set up I'll see what I can do okay let me show you my rig <laughs> and it worked <laughs> all right where it was stuck is right there at the shifter handle in that sleeve there and I couldn't really do much heat there because I'd uh, melt every daggone thing. Okay. Then, remember I drilled that hole right in there in the cowling so I could get that screw out. I used that same hole. Then I took a quarter inch extension put it up through the hole put a little socket on it that got me right on the end of the shift rod there and then from there I took my air gun with that on it because I didn't want to ruin my quarter inch extension and if you look right there I did this and it, it was sticking out a good half an inch and that pushed it all the way over so now 
I could probably get it on out of there. But the big news, the big news is it shifts. It's still sticky all in there, and I'm still going to have to get that all the way out of there. But that's where they hang up on these Endurers. I had the same thing on that last Enduro I did. Um, so I need to zip this on out of here, clean this all up real good. Put anesthes on it real thick. Clean some other stuff up while I'm in there. But I started on this hours ago, literally. Um, because there's no point in me fixing this kind of crap. Um, and I'll guarantee you this is off an Evinrude Big Twin. That You can see that Evinrude blue compared to the Yamaha gray. So that's a jury rig to begin with. It didn't work. And there's weld here. But just that color lets me know this is the Big Twins bolt up very similar to this one. So it was a good attempt, but it, it failed in the end. But now I can get at this Phillips screw that's holding this clamp that clamps onto the up and down shift rod. I should be able to get to that now. So let me get that, get the handle out, get it all cleaned up and back together, and then we can start looking at the, some real problems. I'll be back. It's name of that tune. I've got to find her and tell her that I love her so. I'll never rest until I find out why she had to go. I've got to find her and tell her that I love her so. I'll never rest until I find out why she had to go. Name of that tune. Hoping you can see it a little more. See this punch? Ugh, let me get it out of there. It'll come. it come out of there. Okay, so there's my roll pin punch. First, I had to take off all the throttle linkage and everything. Then I drilled this hole right here out, just a little bit bigger with a drill, only about an eighth of an inch deep, because there's a roll pin holding this on. Then I took this punch, which I couldn't get to with my hammer, so then I took my socket and my extension and was able to put it over, you can see, and then tap, 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 and punch that roll pin out. Tap, 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 and punch that roll pin out. So, and the roll pin, what's left of it, I see it right there. If I can get it, there's the little roll pin I tapped out. So, you got to get that out in order to get that shifter out of there. Yep. So, it is good. It is good, young lord. That you must have a set of these. They go down real small. Even smaller. Okay, so you got to have a good set of roll pin punches when you're playing with these yammies for sure. So now we've got that off. Let me try my chisel air tool socket thingy air tool burp, burp thing again and see if I can get her out a little more. I also got that Phillips screw out of the top so there's nothing holding that. So let me take this zipper gun again and zipper. Get you in there. I'm trying. Let's see what that does. Okay, take my air gun, put it on my socket thing. I'm about to run out of room on this air gun, distance wise. I don't feel like I had it, but we'll try that. Well, she went a little more, I could see it, but I'm out of air gun room now, really. Oh yeah. 
my thing is if I've come this far, I'm going to get this out and get it all cleaned up and get anises on it and everything. Um, I don't believe there's anything else holding the other parts in there. But there may be. Uh, there always may be. Let's see if I can shove that over. Oh yeah. It shoves over. That piece shoves over. There's the hole for the roll pin. It's the only thing that's left holding it is where it is sticking in this sleeve here. So that's the only thing that's holding it left. I think anyway. A long skinny skinny er punch. Go to lunch. any of these plastic parts you are Spanish that's not good even in the Spanish but there's where you see all this see all this white yuck that's what gets welded in there and once it does it does but I think I can tap that thing on out with a uh, with my hammers and uh, maybe even a screwdriver, who knows? We're real close to getting it out. Any Phillips will it hurt me anymore? Do know if I got any or not. Off of that, all I can do is try. Okay, put it over there. out of there now. What's holding her now? Just that thing? Might be. There she goes. Ah, oh, brother. Man, you talk about a mess. Talk about a mess. Yeah. Well, now I'm just going to have to take a pause, clean everything up on my wire wheel, get the anises back in there, line everything back up, which that shouldn't be too hard. I say, I say. You just line everything back up. There it goes. Pretty good right there almost. There. Everything's lined back up there. My shit the rod clip thingy bell crank thing that. So we're all lined up there to go back through 
This will come through here to go back through and what needs to be done now is I just clean everything up and organize. I'll be right back. Well, I managed to get the lower unit off and inspect and check the uh, shift link in the lower unit itself, which was working. Then I got some movement on this side, the right side of the shift link. And so all, all indications pointed to the uh, right where the shift handle comes through the lower cow pan. That was where she was at. So, and uh, oh yeah, I hope this. But there you are. now she real floppy smooth. But uh, before I go any further, you want to stand this. I want to get this straightened out enough to where I can get the throttle linkage to move a little on the carburetors, get the carb cleaned, put it back on, and, and at least make sure it's going to run okay. Then I'll address this. So this Enduro did not Enduro very well. And I believe it's been sitting a long time after the carnage. And most of what I'm seeing here with my eyeballies, you understand this? Most of what I'm seeing is nas buenas, straight up abuse. Nas buenos, no, nas buenos, amigo, abuse, outboard abuse. There should be laws. But uh, it's late, I'm hungry, and so I think I'm gonna stop right here on this one. And remember. That's one more hack from Kodiak. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.